teach you how to create a buy me a coffee link. And this is a super fun link that I highly encourage everyone to add. I know it can be super awkward. You don't feel like you should ask people for a cup of coffee, a margarita. I mean, you can ask them for anything that you wish. And I strongly disagree that it should ever be awkward, okay? And the reason is, is that you're always sharing valuable content, you're giving advice, you're giving your expertise, comes with a lot of experience that you've you know, shared and had. And you're also, um, you know, uh, inspiring people. So definitely think about adding the buy me a coffee. And there's a lot of ways that you can ask for it that don't feel awkward, okay? So you can always offer people, if you're an artist, you can offer them a free digital art print, or you can offer them maybe a free, you know, downloadable PDF, or maybe a personalized thank you. You can also get creative with your messaging. So for example, you could say, help me keep my creativity flowing today. It would be awesome if you could buy me a cup of coffee. You can also use humor. So you can also, you know, say, I promise I won't drink all the coffee at once. So there's a lot of different ways that you can ask people to buy you a coffee. Okay, so here's the link and then you're going to go ahead and click on it. This is a standalone page and I'll show you all the different options you have. So you can add your title, you can add some text, and then you can add an unlimited amount of bar links depending on, you know, the amount of, of coffee you want people to buy you. Okay, so we're gonna go back. And remember that you have to watch this tutorial right here to set up your monetization. And you only have to set up monetization one time. You have to have the premium subscription. And once you set it up, it's so simple and great tutorial. And then you'll be able to monetize anything and everything that Sociatap offers, okay? So you do need to set this up to uh, receive the money for buy me a coffee. Okay, so you'll go to, um, scroll down your theme, click to edit over the links. You're gonna be in the links and pages section. You're gonna add a new link and you're gonna go to buy me a coffee link right here. And I already created a section, so we'll go back out here. You can make it visible or invisible at any time. You can edit it, delete it, look at your analytics. You can hold the arrow down, drag it to any order that you would like on your social tap. And then you can click here to edit it. Okay, so you have a single copy or a single page URL. You can copy it and you can send it to anybody, okay? So the, if you send this link, it'll go straight to your Buy Me A Coffee page. You can also add SEO settings, which I highly um, encourage you to do. And then you can open the link as a standalone page, which is what I just did here. So we'll click on it. This is a standalone page. I love standalone page, super clean. You can also um, open it as an expanded link. And then we'll go refresh here. And then you're gonna see that it expands right inside of your social tap. So that's really nice too. So you have two different choices you can do, okay? And then you're going to display it as a big featured link. So we'll go ahead and click that. And this is the way it can display. So you can have a nice big image and have your bar, which is black, um, if you set it to match um, all the other ones. But you can also, and I'll show you, you can reverse the colors if you want it to be you know, something more like this, where it's a white background with black text. Okay, so if you do that, you're just gonna flip the colors. You're gonna flip the text color to black and you're gonna flip the background color to white. Okay, you can also click on this little eye and this is nice if you wanna create your own graphic and you don't want any bars or text underneath. So it will just be this image, but a lot of people will create a Canva and then put the text to explain what the button is. And so it keeps everything inside of the image. And then you can put that back on. You can also overlay the title. So I'll click yes. I'm gonna go back out. 
and this allows you to overlay the title and I can change this to another color black I can change the font I can also make this bigger okay so it keeps everything nice and clean and only on the image okay and then I can also have a small link so these are two small links that go side by side and again you can change the colors you can do an overlay you can make this a canva um, just like the big featured link and then you're going to want to add another small link so there's a lot of sections that you can choose small links i highly recommend that you do two so that you don't have a gap in the flow on your social tab and then the next option is a bar link and that's just your standard link and you can see you have a bar link here and you can also while it's on bar link you can add an icon so you can choose no icon you can upload a custom icon and let's go down to coffee so i'll add a little coffee mug we'll go back out here and you can see I added a little icon on my bar link or you can keep it um, simple and you know have no icon or choose your own icon okay and then you have a big bar link and we'll look at that and so this is a big bar link well, let me take off this one second I'm gonna take off the icon okay so let's go back out and so you'll have, oops, let me fix this real Okay, we'll go back to the big bar link. And so now you'll see there's no icon. I took the icon off and I just want to use an image. Okay, so these are nice big bar links. And then you see the, the simple bar link down here. Okay, so those are all of the different styles you can have. You can also animate it. So when people look on your social tab on mobile, it's going to do like a nice little blinking saying this is an important link for me and then you add your button title you can change the appearances here your header image so that's the image inside of here and then your button thumbnail which was on your bar link inside you have your page title you can add a short paragraph and then you can add the price options, okay? So I added them here. You can make them visible or invisible at any time. Again, you can edit it, delete it, analytics, and then you can also move around your order. And so if we add new price option, this is what it looks like inside. You're going to add your option. You're gonna set your price, and then you can add an icon or an image, um, or you can choose to keep it simple. Okay, so that's everything you need to do to add a buy me a coffee link. You have a lot of different ways that you can display it. Super, super fun. Remember, it doesn't have to be a cup of coffee. So you can be super creative with that. And then we're just gonna go back to the editor. And as I always say, you know, you can preview live what you just edited. So we're gonna do the phone and I will go to my link, make sure everything looks good. And again, this mimics the mobile phone pretty close. However, I always look at everything on my mobile phone just to make sure that my font looks good, it's legible, the font I chose, and that you know everything makes sense. Okay, so after you're done editing, and remember if it doesn't work, you haven't set up your monetization yet. Once you set that up, you will receive uh, your money for buy me a coffee to either PayPal or Stripe. And then you can go to the menu, scroll down to support. And if you have any questions, please send us a ticket and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Have a great day.